<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> another episode of the Art Bros. Uh, Mike, Fancy Dave, and Patrick. Hey, hey, guys. Come. This time we're doing a little. We're switching it up a little bit. We're talking about an extremely controversial piece. Um, it's called "In Advance of a Broken Arm," or otherwise known as a shovel. A but, controversial piece from a very controversial man yeah. in the in the art world. Yeah, a lot of you may not know this, but this is uh, Marcel Duchamp. Um, this piece is dated at 1915, and a lot of you are probably looking at the screen and saying, "Guys, it's almost 100 years old." Yeah, a lot of you are looking at this piece and saying, "Guys, that's just a shovel on on the screen." Yeah, we didn't mess up the images or anything. This piece is literally a shovel. Hanging on a wire, right? Hanging and suspended from the ceiling, hanging on a wire. Um, this was cons- this was called a ready-made, as in like it was already made. Mm-hmm. Um, it was an object that was familiar with, you know, like common days, like society. And, and so. today, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a shovel. So Marcel Duchamp literally just took a shovel. A shovel. This is the way I'm interpreting it. He took a shovel, suspended from the ceiling, and said, Done. Art. Done. Art. Money. And that's what we would be pretty much focusing on for this conversation. He did write on it, though. Let's give him... He did write uh, in advance of the broken arm, I believe, on it, right? It's on the side, on the stick. Yeah. Do we want to talk about the title first, in advance of a broken arm? Because the thing with this is, and what I find interesting... Is if I have I set the timer here so we don't go too over what you call The thing I find interesting is that once you give it a title, it becomes something completely different. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, yeah, does. it yeah. becomes a narrative of sorts. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like now there's a story behind this, like mm-hmm. in advance of a broken arm. Now, is this person who the shovel belongs to, is their arm going to break because they're shoveling the wrong way or? Or is the arm the stick part of the shovel that's yeah. going to break? You know, is there a narrative behind this? Piece? Well, what I'm saying yeah. is, uh, it becomes a narrative. It transforms Once, into this regular yeah. object. Like if if, if I wonder. look at my I'm look, I'm looking at my phone, and now I'm gonna call it in advance of <laughs> stupid kids. Uh-huh. So now I'm saying like hey, the phone. Hey, hey, huh? it's YOLO. It's- yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just call it YOLO. Yeah, so like instead of calling it smartphone now, I'm gonna call it in advance of a stupid generation. You know, now it's something completely different <laughs> just because I named it that. I just wonder why he gave it a name if what he was trying to get across was the concept and not the actual piece. Yeah. So yeah. let's discuss that. Yeah. So literally, this shovel. Now that he's deemed it art. Yeah. It's been touched by art. the gods as and art. Artists, art gods, as, yes. This is art. This is art. So now it's art, and now it's automatically worth more than probably the $25 it was worth that mm-hmm. he bought it for or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's just, he's pretty much taking full advantage of his artistic license, you know? He's and, just, yeah. and he's, I, in my opinion, mocking the art world. It, yeah. Yeah, it's a kind of a big fuck you. Mm, well, to yeah, the it's art a, world. it's like a huge question, you know. I mean, it, I felt I felt like that was so like consistent with Duchamp and all of his stuff is making us question what is arts, which I feel like is still being asked today. I yeah, mean, I like. I think to, this is kind of the one that's really started the huge the huge conversation that's still going on today. What do we consider art? If 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 yeah, if not the actual starting piece. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's more important, the fact that it's a shovel hanging a wire, or the concept behind it that's the actual art piece? Well, this is the beginning of concept. I didn't say the concept. I think, I I feel like the controversy or gossip over this, like, what is it? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah what is it? It's like, I believe people that look at this get divided into, like, two factions. I mean, it's very black and white, but, like, in general, people get divided into, like, Oh, that's not art. Fuck you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or the oh my god, that's so interesting. That's such a neat concept. Pretty yeah, much, which I find. Which yeah, I find. I honestly, the way I look at it is, I love that it's kind of just satire, sort of this like uh, this ridiculous art world taking itself way it's too seriously. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna p- take this shovel, and now it's worth thirty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, which sure. it was worth like thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> Although the irony doesn't escape it, does it? Nope. Because he was trying to, he was distancing himself, uh, distancing himself from that art scene. It, w- the whole like you know, put a price tag on that art right. piece and things like that. 
but it ended up becoming a very it did. expensive piece itself. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, you look at uh, one of his other pieces, Fountain. Mm-hmm. It's just a urinal placed on the ground, and, and, and it's signed. Um, Which we should show. W- yeah, 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 because it's it's pretty interesting. But when I first saw uh, Fountain, it's just like all on the ground, and people are, are just like, oh, like, is this art? I don't know what this <laughs> Some is. Some people like worship this and, stuff, and it's just ridiculous. And I kind of thought he was just saying, like, hey, I got really good aim when I, <laughs> when I pee. Like, I can just hit that, no problem. Now, yeah, so. For, uh, for those of you who haven't seen our um, Roy Lichtenstein, uh, we did Wham, which uh, in that, Roy Lichtenstein took a comic book panel and just enlarged it, put it in a gallery and said, now it's art. It's kind of those, that kind of comes from this. Mm-hmm. You know, you take something ordinary that no one appreciates and you just put it put it in a gallery setting, you know, the art gods, the art gods have touched it. Now Here's it's the thing, art. Though, um... Did he blow up that thing to make it art, or did he just use it to point out this concept that he was making? I think that's the real question, and I like the latter, that he just used it sort of to if just make a point. Because if I approach it more from like my thinking that it's more of a joke, then I think the concept itself is the centerfold. Yeah. Although it's intangible, so you can't really use the word centerfold, can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's uh, what I read was pretty interesting. This like such like ordinary piece. It's so ordinary, and uh, in a museum in in, Min- in Minnesota, one of the janitors actually mistook the <laughs> shovel and just used it on on the property when it snowed. There's been three three versions of this thing. Yeah, and I think it's on its fourth at the moment. The original is lost. Nobody knows where it went. Oh, <laughs> it's in my garage. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's right I, there. I think about it's it. It's right there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, like imagine this. Oh, I'm, I'm there at the, the, the time that this is being premiered. It's being presented, um, and I just walk in with the same shovel. Is that is the shovel that I have now any more valuable than the shovel that's suspended from the ceiling? I say no. I don't say no either. I say no either. I in fact, think you can't really lose it since it's. The concept you're trying to get exactly across. the work the the art in this in this piece is the concept the the message that's what I and that, that's for me my takeaway mm-hmm. is that it, this is actually believe it or not one of my favorite pieces of work yeah it, it, just mean, because yeah. it's sort of like this big like fuck I, you yeah everybody. I know I can totally understand but like when I like the type of uh, like art that I like it's much more I, I'd say fine is the proper word. I'm a concept guy. Yes, and when, and, when I, and when I look and when I look at this, I'm like, <laughs> but then you know I can still appreciate like the right. amount of like hell that Duchamp brought with this yeah. piece and and his other Just pieces. The conversations he started, the 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 you know the the, the arguments mm-hmm. that people mm-hmm. had. So many bottles of wine spilled. <laughs> so many. So many. So much blood. Yes. So much blood in <laughs> Duchamp's hands. Uh, okay. So um, just wrapping up. This is, I love this because it's, it's the concept, what it is. It's it's not the fine art. It's not fine art at all. It's just it's this guy trouble. who's trying to send yeah. a message using his caliber to kind of show everybody. All right, you guys are being a little bit ridiculous. Here's this thing. Mm-hmm. And the most the most hilarious part is that some people look at this and try to like, they try to dissect it. Yeah. They go. They take it so much seriously. And if the shop were here, he'd probably be like, I know, yeah, yeah. dude, it's, dude, it's, it's just a shovel. Yeah. <laughs> But who knows? Like they, they may, they may be right, and and we may be wrong. But I mean, the only person that knows is Duchamp. Yeah, but he's dead. Yes, in the ground. Thanks, Nancy Dave. Anyway, that's <laughs> we're gonna be one day. I don't, yeah. <laughs> All right, or maybe guys. cremated. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, um, anything? I like a gold urn. I hear you. I hear you. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I could afford it, but you know. Shut I up think... and give me your takeaway. I know you should. <laughs> <laughs> All good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Good concept. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm so yeah. You know, see, stuff. like you and I, this conversation. Boom, 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 boom. You don't like the, You don't like that it's not fine art. See, I love that it's not fine. Uh-huh. art. And I think he's in a Tupperware container. It's <laughs> ashes. That's what I was gonna say earlier, but oh, that's just me. Oh, that's just me. All right. And that Tupperware is a ready made. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh! All right, guys. So that being said, Art Bros out. See you next time. Out. Oh.